This is a statistics book for engineers, or rather a probability and statistics book for engineers. So a book like this is meant for students who are going to college and studying engineering. If you go to college and you don't study engineering, chances are you still have to take statistics, but you use a different type of book. You don't use one like this. So books like this actually do actually have calculus in them. So it helps to know calculus, otherwise you can't really go through all the material. Most colleges will require that you have Calculus 3 before you jump into a course like this. In this video, we're going to take a really brief look at the contents so you can see what it contains. It's called Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists, and it's by Hater. And I will look, as soon as I post this video, I will look to see if I can find any copies, and if I can, I will leave a link in the description. This one's from 1996. And then here are the contents. So we've got probability theory, random variables, discrete probability distributions, continuous probability distributions. Here's where the calculus is going to come in when you get to the continuous probability distributions, the normal distribution, descriptive statistics, statistical estimation and sampling distributions, and then this is really important, inferences on population mean, so this is hypothesis testing, and then uh, confidence intervals, it's very useful with estimation. Comparing two population means, discrete data analysis, analysis of variance, simple linear regression and correlation, and then we have multiple linear regression and nonlinear regression. Cool. Multi-factor experimental design and analysis, non-parametric statistical analysis, quality control methods, reliability analysis and life testing. And then we have some tables and you have answers in the back to the odd numbered problems. And obviously the useful tables, those are very useful. Yes, yeah, so you have answers in the back so you can check your work. That makes this a great book for self-study, right? And it's got a lot of content. It's got a lot of content. Someone wrote their name in it. It's kind of funny looking. Yeah, I wonder why they did that. Maybe they were just worried someone would take it or I guess if they lost it, um, People would know who it belonged to, but mm -hmm. let's look at some of the mathematics in here. Let's go to, let's go back to like, uh, here we go. Continuous probability, the gamma distribution, or how about here? Here we go. The beta distribution. The beta distribution has a state space, wow, and it's x between 0 and 1 is often used to model proportions. It has this probability density function. Wow, crazy, right? It's the gamma function. For x between zero and one inclusive and, and, then, and then f of x equals zero elsewhere, which depends on two parameters, a greater than zero and b greater than zero and a scale factor consisting of a ratio of gamma functions. Yeah, so you have this ratio here of the gamma functions. The expectation and variance of a beta distribution are given in the box below. So here's, here's the beta distribution. A beta distribution with parameters a greater than zero and b greater than zero has a probability density function equal to that. It is useful for modeling proportions, so you can model proportions with it, it says. And this, this is the expectation and this is the variance. This is probably something you've never seen. So this, this is something that you will not find uh, in, in a basic stats book, right? Like it's, so this is the kind of thing that's unique to a book like this. So a lot more hardcore right, than a basic stats book, but it will help you, right? It's very similar to a mathematical statistics book. So mathematical statistics book is, is like this. This is a mathematical statistics book, but typically they're, they're called mathematical statistics. They're not called, they don't have, they don't go by these titles. And those books are typically used um, to teach a course called statistical theory or mathematical statistics. And those courses are taken by math majors. So that's the difference, right? These courses are taken by uh, engineers and scientists, people who need this type of statistics for their degree or engineers, which they always need this type of statistics. So kind of an interesting book. Um, yeah, take care.